So today we've seen several different outdoor condensing units and um, people want to know what's right for them. Every one that we've seen has been a system that I've personally been involved with or sold and so every house is different. I wanted to stop by this house. I love the side discharge heat pumps or air conditioners that often get confused with mini split or ductless split. Um, this unit right here is the whole house air conditioner. It happens to actually be a heat pump, but remember what I said. Um, sometimes we look at the outdoor unit and say, yep, that's an air conditioner. Well, in this case, it's a heat pump, and the heat pump is an air conditioner that has the brass reversing valve that can pull heat from the outside and heat your home using electricity. Um, if you have issues with clearances um, or you want to put the unit under a deck, this is a great option. Um, most of the manufacturers have now come out with a side discharge air conditioner. And so when we talked about you um, at my house, putting your hand on top of an air conditioner, and if you feel the heat, that means that it's the refrigeration process is working. The heat is being pulled from my home for air conditioning and expelled outside. Well, in this case, uh, it would come out the side and not the top. So um, the units are extremely quiet. I don't know if you can hear that little teeny humming in the background. That's how noisy it is, extremely quiet. Um, so really quiet on noise, physical size. Um, this home is about 3,600 square feet. Uh, this is about 18 inches wide, 30 inches uh, across, would fit under a deck. We can also mount these to the side of the house. So they're not really no, no clearance requirements necessary. So you'll notice that this unit is up on a stand and it's because it is a heat pump. So as it, as it cools down outside and this unit is um, heating, at a certain point it'll become more efficient to use the gas furnace. So we need it up on a stand so that it can defrost or, um, and drain.